don't know why I'm noodling over this kind of stuff. I think it's just because I don't know if you are ever going to be able to see it from the surface. And if you can, then I'm going to be annoyed that I have to come back down here and change it. So I've got a lot of materials on the server. I'm not really too worried about a few blocks here and there that could have been saved. It's not the end of the world. Nope, Joel is definitely not a perfectionist. I don't know what you're talking about. That is not a thing. It's certainly not a pre-programmed uh, emote or a nightbot chat command in, in, my, in my chat room. We would never do something like that. You know, even when you know what you're doing in this game, it is really tough to place uh, blocks through liquid. I still find that pretty challenging. Oh, I guess those were supposed to be... These three are supposed to be solid... Uh, terracotta, right? right? Right, and I haven't done this side yet. So the glass goes here, here, and I'm going to take that one back some. We still have some sand to clear over on this side. Right. So here, I think the thing to do is to get in here. We can start to take these out like this, and then wait until we get down to the bottom. Try to get some of our sand back. But I think after a while, that's just a no. Pink glass in certain builds, it really does work well. Uh, yeah, and your your uh, greenhouses there in uh, in Somerville here on the server look great. Um, pink glass, and is it... It would look good with the default nether brick, but it looks good with the black nether brick, and it also looks good with red nether brick, surprisingly. Red nether brick is, is a richer red... A lot of the reds in Minecraft, like the concrete and stuff, are very, very bright. Um, all of this pink stuff, all of these pink choices were made because the gold farm itself, it's such a big build that we use netherrack for the majority of the blocks in it. So we wanted some blocks that went well with netherrack. So pink concrete, when you put pink glass in front of netherrack, it actually makes it look very similar to pink terracotta. So... At least with this with this particular uh, custom glass texture, I think my default glass texture color is the same. Like I don't think it's just the it's just the lines that are different on the block. I think the actual color pink hasn't changed much, if at all. So um, so it should be should be good for anybody that's just running a straight, straight up vanilla as well. Is there another sand wall behind that? There has to be. Yes. Okay, so all of this we can get rid of. Oh, there's sand in the shop in the market. Good call, Cosmic. Thank you. I forgot about that. I, just, I was just at the market earlier. I was just at that exact spot because uh, I was depositing bones that we got from the, uh, the Wither Skeleton Farm uh, there. And, uh, and I, did not, I did not think to check to grab the sand, but I've got room in the shulker now. I'll do that. Come on. Let's see if I can get this without having to go back up the stairs. I'm curious, uh, for those that are watching the YouTube videos of these streams afterwards, uh, if you have any feedback for me uh, in terms of the video quality, in terms of the content, let me know. Some of you have a direct line to me in, in Discord. Uh, and some of you can you can always grab me on Twitter. YouTube comments are okay. They're not the greatest. That it's kind of hard to sort through them. But I don't get so many that it's not impossible. I I find that difficult to stream the automation stuff. I find that streaming the automation stuff can be. I can get quiet because I'm, I'm concentrating too much. It's like yesterday on the Vastin stream. Like I on purpose that that Vastin stream was never intended to be anywhere else but but Twitch because I just know that I can't. I'm concentrating so hard. And flipping back and forth between two uh, images and stuff that I just can't 
uh, I just can't keep the conversation flowing uh, like you, like one normally would do. So the nice thing about taking this down an extra level is that um, the uh, the lava won't come out and flow in to the room when we do stuff like that. I feel like that's right. Just has to go there. And then we have to get rid of these ones here. I wonder if I can get all that sand from this, this point. I think I have to take this out first. And then get rid of that there. Place that back. I'm curious as to whether how like whether it would be difficult for me to stream and play Factorio, uh, having never played it. I mean, it, it it could just end up being something that's intended to be very very slow, and uh, like a a learning process. That could be the way that that ends up going. So what did I do wrong there? That is not supposed to be glass. That is. Right? No, all of that is supposed to be glass. So the opposite is not supposed to be nothing, it's supposed to be glass. And I missed some sand. Right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. I think it'll make more sense once we've moved a lot of the stairs. Like once a lot of these stairs are quartz going up here, like if I take out some of these. Do I have quartz stairs on me? I do. So let's just do like, I don't know. I don't know what is going to be underneath these stairs either. I don't think it's going to be nether rack. I'll have to sort that out later. But do two, three, four. And we'll get all of our... Uh, our cobblestone stairs back too. Not that we ever really leave them anywhere as permanently. The cobblestone stairs are just kind of like this back and forth inventory that I use and then replace whenever I'm kind of mapping out builds. Did I put glass down there? I did. That is something we're going to have to definitely sort out sooner than later is the uh, this thing here. So if we run back up top here, Yeah, like if you imagine that white all the way up to our feet right here, I think that would look pretty cool. Oop, those are slabs. And I think the combination of white quartz and my black nether brick would look really cool up here. Like imagine if if this cobble was, was white quartz or the reverse, imagine if the road was quartz and the trim was black. The other combination I, I think is, is quartz and smooth stone slabs. I've got some ideas. Got some ideas. I have some quartz. I don't know if I, I should have enough, I think. Uh, I used a lot of quartz on the, uh, the wither room build. So that's done, by the way. I should show you guys that before we end the stream. Well, Ron for Fun says, I like the podcast, by the way. I need to check out the back episodes as I started on 10. Oh, very cool. I'm glad that you're listening. Thanks very much. That's that's wonderful. I appreciate the compliment. Um, I don't... Does anybody go back and listen to the archives at like 2x speed? Because I, I don't understand... Because I struggle to find content that I like. And then when I do find content that I like, uh, I don't want to blast through it because then I'm stuck looking for content. Uh, but I've seen, I've noticed a number of listeners mentioning that they have gone through the back catalog and they, they want to catch up quickly. But the thing is, like, nothing we talk about is time sensitive. So there's no reason you can't go back and enjoy the other, the other episodes. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, we're going to have to do. Yeah, this is interesting. We're going to have to do another, another big dig down to bedrock. Right. 
because some of this only, well, only like five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, only five blocks. Still, kind of a pain. I've been very inspired by the, the Hermitcraft season and the work that uh, Rendog is doing uh, and several of the other Hermits are doing on the HRN, the Hermit Rail Network, as a way to tour around the server. I don't think it really fits the aesthetic of the, the meadows, of Dartmouth Meadows, um, but in our city build uh, that we do, I absolutely want to have like an above ground monorail trail uh, train system. I mentioned earlier in this stream that I think it would be would go a long way to fulfill my my fantasy of uh, of building a like a Lego city. So I want to try and sort that out. So I think the glass is going to be here, which means that we can remove this. I think. And that should not have lava raining down in our heads. Right. So the real question is, are we going to notice this little three step here? Or if, if that's not going to be a thing? I don't know if it's going to be a thing. I, I think you're going to be mostly looking down. I don't know if you're going to even notice that. Because I may not want to redo this roof. This roof was tedious to say the least. And it might be okay. We could also, we could do like a, instead of having three and one, we could do a step where there's two here, uh, like one here and then one there and then two there, I guess. I don't know. So let's see here, corner, corner, and then one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then we have this section here, but this is technically going to be a continuation of the stairs. So I'm going to do that now. While I think about it. Oh, we got some fighting. I want that piece of glass back. Must collect all the things. Get in the hole. There we go. SimCity 2000 was 1993. Okay, so not, so 2000 did not come out in 2000. Because I finished, I finished high school in 97. So there was no way that I was playing it after that. In, in, in university, I was playing StarCraft. That was the... That was the big, the big thing then. You must create additional pylons. Yep, that is a thing. I was a Terran player. I like, I like my siege tanks. That was my, that was my gem. I used to, I used to create uh, catchment points for all my siege tanks, and it, they used to just wreck face. Most of my play in early days was um, against AI, so it was a little bit easier. But uh, I did eventually play against other folks. We had some massive battles. Uh, when I was in university in the wintertime, so this is, for those that, that don't know, I went to Mount Allison, which is in Sackville, New Brunswick. Uh, so in the winter, there's a whole lot of nothing to do uh, because uh, there's snow everywhere. And then there was a teacher's strike. There was a professor's strike at the school. So there was no classes going on. So we had ginormous uh starcraft 2 fights or Star no starcraft not starcraft 2 starcraft land battles because everybody had a computer and there was the free land that the university provided and oh man it was you you lost some some hours days were spent when it was minus 30 outside just kind of hanging out and uh and taking care of some some starcraft business uh, what did I want to get? I wanted to see if I have more quartz. I have some. I could use a change of scenery, so let's let's run back. Uh, I have to remember I do not have my elytra on. Let's run back and uh, get some more quartz, because I think I'm just going to run those stairs all the way down right now. Hey, while we're up here, I can show you guys the, uh, the wither squisher room, too. Uh... Oh yes, block of quartz and block of quartz. How many stairs does that give us? We're, oh yeah, we're probably gonna need more than that. So let's grab, we are not super rich on quartz. We're not rolling in it. Well, let's take a look at this. So I finished this ladder, I created a, uh, an echo of the view of this this magma line so as you climb up it 
you get this view. I'll turn off my my HUD for a second. And when you get to the top, it just kind of spits you out here. So I don't know whether we had this look completely finished on the last stream, but this is where it's sitting right now. And then there's one light and it's underneath the nether rack in the middle. And it's just, it casts a light uh, down down below here. That's what, li that's what lights up the, the rib cage there. There's a light right in there. But then behind me, I just kind of carried up the design from, from the ladder. I just kind of brought that up here, put in a couple of recessed, uh, recessed lights and uh, kind of brought it all in with the nether rack, or not the nether rack, excuse me, the um, the bedrock, the bedrock ceiling. Still have some nether rack to get rid of. I haven't done all of that yet. Uh, and then over here, uh, I wanted a couple of things. So I wanted to keep some access. So if I ever do have to go down and make some changes down there, I can. And for people up here that are uh, fighting the wither, it's important to have access to a uh, ender chest as well as a chest full of like just stuff that's meant to make the room. Uh, and then I was thinking because of when I was working on this, I was going up and down this ladder like a lot. And granted, it looks cool. Like it's a cool experience when you go back down to have this kind of like black tunnel kind of pass you by is really cool. But uh, a faster way down is actually over here. And it's just a drop. It's just a straight drop with a couple of vines at the bottom because it's not super far. But when you're done getting your wither skulls and, and doing all that you need in here, uh, and you can see, I don't think you can see the light, but it's right, it's right behind that stair block. And that's where it is there. But once you're in here, you can come around in the back and get your, your nether star out of there when you're done. And then if you're in a hurry, you can just take a left and drop. And you plop out right here. And so I just designed this little room to kind of be an extension of this portal room. It's just up the stairs right here. So we don't have anything fast enough uh, in the nether. I guess a minecart elevator would be the only other thing, but it's not that far. So uh, I had already designed the tunnel. Not the tunnel, the, the ladder shaft. I'm not sure what you want to call that. So let's just see if we can't uh, get these stairs sorted. I think it's just nether rack underneath them, and that's fine, because I don't think anybody's ever going to see the back of them. I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying not to go through the stairs and put holes in the in the nether rack. Cosmic says that she will just see the nether on stream. She's not afraid to admit that she's afraid of the nether. A lot of the nether that we have is is covered. You should be able to get back and forth from the meadows and the market and stuff to Somerville without without too much trouble. You shouldn't have anything other than pigmen standing around should be okay. I don't know what we're going to do for decoration. I, I'm thinking maybe some glass on the outside of this, which may mean that we have to change the underside to, um, to be something that's, that's more terracotta like. How many more do I need? Uh, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'll do at least twelve. So that looks really cool, right? The white, the white stairs going all the way down. Now just imagine that this goes all the way down to the bedrock glass bridge. Like there's no, no nether rack here right in front of you. Like this, this white uh, court staircase just goes all the way down to, to this level right down here where it used to be. That's the plan. Oh, that's an upside down stair. So I think how many more, uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times three. So 33. We'll do maybe 36 stairs if we can. We don't have enough. Don't have enough quartz to do 36 stairs. 12. 
we might uh, we might have to go quartz mining. It won't happen today, but we'll have to maybe go do that sometime. This should all be netherrack for the most part. Right up until the very bottom here. I'm going to put the glass in for now just so I can see where the nether rack is and then we can always come back and sort this out. So I need to go in one more block because these will eventually be stairs. And I think, I don't know if I still have the cobble stairs on me. I might end up just using those right now. Uh, I do. Yeah. So we'll, we'll finish off the quartz and then we'll switch to cobble for the last little bit just so we can get the, get, get the layout, get the, the way that it feels. Should be good. Right, and then all this will be dug straight down to nether, right down to um, the nether bedrock. So just, just like four or five blocks. Shouldn't be too bad. Well, there's also, there's a wall underneath there, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, that, you know, this isn't a terrible look. I mean, obviously it's not going to be this jaggy, you know, uneven thing, but having a little bit of, uh, earth or solid blocks here on the side is kind of cool. I may, I may attempt to, to do that, but let's go back up here and see what it looks like. Yeah, like that's really cool compared to what it was. I think so anyway. Um, I don't know if I want to replace these lava things so that they're solid and not flowing lava. I want to I want to fill things up in the corners here. And we gotta get rid of this sand. And I don't know what happened there.